back to another Django tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and um, display our comments under our post in our post detail.html file. Um, so, in the previous tutorial, we built the model for the um, post, or our comments, I'm sorry, for the comments, and then added to admin and then added a comment. Well, if you want to add a couple more comments, go ahead. Uh, otherwise, we're going to display these comments to the front end. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Open up your text editor. Go over to um, postdetail.html. And what we're going to do is add the comments in here below the post content. So we'll just put an HR since my amazing web design skills are showing now. Um, so what we need to do is loop through the comments and display them, correct? So with that being said, um, what we're going to do is um, use a for loop. So we'll do for comments. Well, actually, what did I name? Comment. So for comments in post.comment. Dot all so we want to return all of them so we get to the post we get a comment and we get them all uh, we want to return all of them and then I like to close out my n4 n4 there we go and ignore that um, all right so now we're looping through our co our comments we're getting all our comments now we need to display all our comments so let's go down here and what's the first thing we want to return? Um, well, not post. User. Uh, we can return user. We're not going to return email because we don't want to display people's emails. Uh, body and probably created date. All right. So there are three things we're going to display with a comment. So what am I doing here? Let's use a P tag. Get rid of that. I don't know what I was doing there. All right. So inside here, we're going to put our variables. So two curly braces, and in there, we're going to say comments dot create it. All right, so that's our our date the post was or the comment was created, and then in here, we'll put the user's name. So two curly bra braces, and then we'll do comments dot uh, user, and then. We'll put the body of our comment down here. Um, comments dot body. All right. So when we loop through, we're going to get the create date, the user, and the body. All right. Um, so let's try that out. So, open up this. Uh, I just want to see where I put this comment real quick. So I know which post to look at. Second post. Uh, I already got it up here. Second post. All right, so no comments were displayed. <laughs> Alrighty, something should have been displayed. Um, let's just make sure this is working. Anyhow, we want to add an empty uh, tag anyway. So let's just put in something here to make sure something's getting displayed. So we're going to use an empty tag. And an empty tag is if this loop is empty, it's going to return something. So we can go... Um, there is no comments. And let's go back and refresh. There's no comments. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Related name. Ha ha. All right. So uh, I thought of that yesterday and I completely forgot about it and confused myself. Anyhow, related name actually changed the name of our. Uh, class here um, the way we call it all right so I have a guy I work with all the time that does 
puts freaking related names and everything. So let's go ahead and fix this. Anyhow, we're going to change this to comment. Change this to comments. Because what happens here is related name. And I thought of this yesterday. I threw it in to show you guys how this could screw you up. And it screwed me up because I completely forgot that I did that. Uh, comment and then related name comments. Now... Well, now we have to call this uh, class by comments, all right? So we'll do um, comments, comment, and this should all be comment. And we'll save that. Let's go back and refresh our, refresh our post here. Awesome. So there's our date. There's our name. Or user, I should say, and body. All right. Um, so we got empty. If it doesn't show up, it says there's no comments. Well, let's go ahead and uh, above this or below this H bar tag, let's add um, an H1 tag to make it look a little bit better. Uh, let's go with uh, leave a comment. And how about we post how many comments there are? So we'll do uh, p tags, and we'll say total number of comments. Space. Then our variable tags, and in here we'll do post dot dot count comments now I'm confused myself with this comments are really the name all right yeah that's right that should work let's go ahead and refresh it bum 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 all right so we got the h1 tag leave a comment to the number of comments is one so what this does right here post dot comments dot count counts how many objects are or uh, instances there are um, so we can count that. All right, in the next tutorial, we will build our form and our views, and uh, basically we'll be getting the users' uh, comments instead of us writing them in the background, making our you know trying to make ourselves look cool. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.